Welcome to my workbench. What we've got here is a 1940 RCA model 15 tube radio. This is one I've converted to a, uh, a tube amplifier for a guitar. And there's all kinds of videos that show you how to hook up to the RCA jacks in the back. This one, when I bought it, didn't have a complete circuit there though. It had been disconnected. So what I ended up having to do was find another way to connect a quarter inch jack for the guitar and tie it into the circuit to the radio. And the way I went about it, you may find useful. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. This is a picture of the, uh, the original chassis. Uh, you've got your uh, tuner mechanism there and the speaker, the original speaker, which is not there anymore. I pulled that stuff out because I really won't need it anymore. Let me set this camera down and I'll pull the knobs off, pull the chassis out, and show you what I did and how I did it. Right now I've just got a little speaker sitting in there. It works, but this thing really deserves a better speaker. So I'm going to have to build a cabinet for a speaker later. Uh, I went looking through the schematics for this radio and found that the input for the RCA jack actually connected to the volume control. And right there is a volume control. It's a combination on-off switch and a volume control. Kind of hard to hold a flashlight so you can see this and point to it at the same time. But the uh, one side of the uh, guitar jack goes now to the volume control and the other side goes to the ground on the chassis. Uh, and yes, I did install a three wire uh, grounded uh, cord. So the chassis is now grounded to earth ground in the house. It's really not difficult to do. Move this speaker out of the way. And you can see the, the chassis with the modifications I made. The this is where the old tuner mechanism used to go to. The coil assembly for the tuner was sitting right here and the original speaker was right in here. Um, the RCA, not the RCA, but the quarter inch jack right back there. I just put it through the same hole that the original uh, turner went through in the front so I didn't have to poke any extra holes in this. Really it's pretty simple. Didn't take a whole lot of time. Um, these or these little radios if you keep your eyes open you can you can find them for around 40-50 bucks in working condition they make great little tube amps um hit me with any questions you may have uh thanks for watching